it's me, Sweetie, and thank you for being here for another video. Today I got something really special in the mail I wanted to share with you guys. This is something I have been wanting to have for myself for quite a while now, and it is extra special because it is actually in collaboration with the people who make it. And the item I'm talking about is the Ditto Pixel Art Speaker by Devoom. Now I have had my eye on this guy for quite a while. It is all over Instagram on these Kawaii Pastel accounts and I thought this would be super cute to put on my desk. As you guys know, I did a Kawaii desk makeover video which I will link up above. And if you've seen that, you would know that this would be perfect for the setup I have currently. I had actually currently been saving up to buy this for myself and in the meantime, the company Devoom actually reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I would do a review for them. Now, while they did send me this little guy free of charge, I'm not being paid for this review or sponsored in any way, so any opinions or first thoughts I have about this little guy will be purely my own, and I'm gonna give you guys my honest first impression on if it is really worth the price and if you should add it to your kawaii setup. So without further ado, let's unbox the ditto. Okay, so right off the bat, even before I open it up, the box is a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. It mostly looks like it's made out of like a soft touch plastic material, but it feels really hefty. Oh, okay, so it comes in this really cute little packaging right here. Let us lift her out and see what we've got. Okay, super cute. It came in this adorable little pink bag. I was unsure of which like color they were gonna send me, so I'm glad they sent me pink. They must have known what my aesthetic was. Oh, it's so cute. How adorable is it inside this little box? It reminds me of those uh, little like skincare refrigerators that I've been seeing on social media as well. It is so cute already. So you guys might already know that I am a sucker for packaging and this little container that it comes in is so adorable. I'm not quite sure what I could use it for, but I really want to save it. Maybe I could put some cute figurines in here and I love that this handle is like squishy. I don't know why that's like important to me, but I need you to know that it is squishy. Okay, so we've got some text on the lid here. It says, inspired by our passion for music and technology, Devum is committed to elevate the audio experience with acoustic product excellence. Okay, that's great because I really do need a speaker for my computer. I currently only use headphones, but like when I'm across the room doing my makeup, I have to like put my headphones on maximum volume and set them somewhere near me. So I'm really excited and I hope that the audio quality is as good as they're saying it is. Since 2006, we have endeavored tirelessly to pursue a perfect harmony between technology and design where ultimate sound quality is ensured in every D-Boom speaker. I didn't know they had been around that long. Okay, 2006, I was in high school. Okay, let me try to pop this open without causing a disaster. Oh, okay, so very easy. It's got like a little indented square here and you just press on that and it pops it open. So far, so good. And let's just very carefully slide it out. Ooh, wow, okay, this is definitely hefty. I was worried that it might be a little like lightweight and plasticky and cheap feeling, but this is like, you could, you could bludgeon someone with this. I'm not saying you should, but you could. Okay, so here's what we're working with right off the bat. We've got little clicky keys here for some nice ASMR. It's got some of that fun plastic sheeting that we can peel off and enjoy together. So underneath the little insert, it looks like we've got a manual and a charger cord. I think this is a type C charger. It's like one of these flat ones, kind of like what the uh, Nintendo Switch uses. I definitely prefer these kinds of cords because I don't have to fight to figure out which is the right way to do it. You can plug it in either way. So here are the main items that you will get inside the container. We have the charger, the unit itself, the cute carrying box, and the user manual. So let's go ahead and get the little plastic bits off. There we go. 
Okay, so right now I've just got it set on the clock page, but you've got your little keys here. This is like a menu key and you've got some little arrows right here. So you've got your Bluetooth connection to connect to your audio. You've got your pixel art section, tools, you can set an alarm. And you also have some little pixel games on here like Tetris and Snake, neither of which I am good at. <laughs> so I probably won't be using that function very much. But I do like that it always goes back to displaying the clock when you're not, you know, messing around here in the apps. You can also do a couple of other things like hold this down to turn off the keyboard light. I actually think you can change the color of this light on the app, which I will show you in a second. Uh, you can change how you want your clock to be displayed by holding down the keys. So all of these little keys have different functions that you can use. And I think that this little guy is very customizable and that's an aspect that I'm very excited about. I was wondering just how many functions this little computer had. And just by reading the manual and looking on the app, I'm really happy to find that there is a lot that you can do with this. So it is more than just, you know, a piece of plastic that you'll sit on your computer and never touch again. And I love this little, little handle over here. It makes this little clicky noise. I mean, all of these buttons make super fun clicky noises. So it's great for just like playing around with on your desk when you need some fun clicky noises. So along with the Ditto, there is an app that you can use. It's just DVoom in the App Store. And so here are some of the cute little pixel designs that you can send over and have displayed on your screen. You've got a cute bird, this little bee. Uh, f fetus? We're not gonna do that one. But what we are gonna do is put a super cute little cinema roll on the screen. Let's go ahead and try this one. Oh, and there he is! Wow, that's so easy! Okay, so it just literally sends them right over, and I'm guessing it's really easy to just go to the next one you want. Oh, Okay, I'm gonna have fun just spending hours, like, looking through all of these little options I have of what I want on the screen. Oh, and this one moves too! I didn't even notice. Okay, so just personally for me, this is probably like the main feature I am going to use. I think this is super cute and fun, and honestly for me, this makes it worth it. But maybe I'm just a little too easy to please. But besides just being great for displaying super cute pixel art, there are a lot of options that you have inside the app. You can make your own designs, which I'm definitely going to try. You can play the games here, but you can also use functions like planning, setting alarms. You can leave voice messages for yourself, play music. And there's some other functions here like sleep. I don't know what that is, but that looks interesting. And you can check the weather too. So there's a lot you can use this little guy for besides it just looking super cute on your desk. So now I'm actually going to go into the design feature here and see if I can make something cute on the screen here. I do not claim to be an artist, so please bear with me while I try to put something cute on here. Yay, I made a sweetie sprout. I tried, please be kind. Now, obviously I am not the best artist as I told you previously, but using this little design app was really intuitive. I'm not like, knowledgeable in Photoshop or Illustrator or using pixel art applications at all. And this was really easy and really fun to use. They even have like a layers function here at the bottom. So it's really easy to keep your art organized. And if you are already talented in pixel art or you have ideas and want to learn, I think this is a great way to do it. 
So I was just playing around with this some more as I sat back down and I actually found a soul gem from Madoka. If y'all have seen my figure collection video, you will know that I am a huge Madoka Magica fan. I'm really surprised and really happy that someone did upload this into their database. So I think even if you are a fan of really niche things, anime, series, stuff like that, I'm sure you could find something on there or you can make one yourself. So I do plan on obviously testing out the audio for this guy. I listen to music and watch YouTube and podcasts while I'm editing myself. I don't know how helpful it'll be to listen to the audio here on video. I would much rather listen to it myself in like a one-on-one -on -one situation and then just share with you guys after if I really think it's good. So check below in the description box. I will definitely have left my notes down below on whether or not the audio is good, in my opinion. So now, my final thoughts on the Devoom Ditto. I honestly really like this little guy. I am still so over the moon that Devoom wanted to work with me and have me do a review on this, because like I said, I had had my eye on this for a while and I did already intend to buy it for myself. So if you have never heard of Ditto or you've been also on the fence yourself on whether or not you should buy it, I say go for it. My one hesitation in buying this just right off the bat when I saw it is the price. It is a little more expensive than what I would usually spend on a Bluetooth speaker, but that's because it has a lot more features than just a Bluetooth speaker. I think the interface with the app and the design studio options that you have, as well as just like the everyday planning and like alarm setting you can do with this, does give it a value that it's priced at. Obviously, if you don't have the money to drop on it right away, it is not necessary. I'm not telling you that you need to go out and buy this right now, but if you're interested in a fun, cute little desktop gaming and pixel art design buddy, I really do recommend this. And as a first impression, as like how I feel about using it, how easy is it to use, at first it was a little confusing for me just because I'm used to being able to touch things and just figure it out quickly that way, but because the buttons are analog, I do recommend reading the manual and also learning the application interface as well. It might seem a little bit intimidating at first, but once you get into it, it does become very intuitive and really fun to use. So not only is the Ditto incredibly aesthetic, I mean, look at this cute little thing, I think it also has a great value in its uses, and you would get a lot of use out of it and have it be well worth its money. So if you would like to get your hands on the Devoom Ditto, I will have a link directly below to their website where you can get it, and also be sure to check out their TikTok at Devoom Official. Speaking of TikTok, that is something I need to get into. Let me know down below if you'd be interested in that kind of content. And again, they did send this to me free of charge, but I am not being paid at all for this. So if you purchase it from the link below, I will not get any funds. It's just there for ease of access for you guys. Well, that is gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for spending some time with me on my channel today while I reviewed the little ditto. And thank you to Devoom for sending this to me. I've had a really fun time with it and I can't wait to make a lot more cute pixel designs. I will definitely be taking some cute pictures of this and putting them over on my Instagram. So if you'd like to see those, I will also link that below for y'all. Well, I'm gonna go and set this up on my desk and probably spend the next hour looking through all their super cute designs. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.